Happy Tuesday, Chargers. It's April 8th. Today we've got some important dates, beautified DP details, and information on the committed campaign. DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. is Committed Week. Here's Negan Namavari who has information on what that means for you. Hey guys, this week is Committed Week. The Committed Campaign is a community-wide campaign aimed, aimed at changing social norms and attitudes towards underage drinking. We will be doing classroom presentations, pledging at lunch, all to raise awareness and have people commit to be drug and alcohol free. So look out for those activities and presentations all this week. This month is also Distracted Drivers Awareness Month. So Friday Night Live and the Allstate Foundation are sponsoring an assembly this week to promote safe driving amongst those public students. Our keynote speaker will share her story about surviving a car crash as well as the risks associated with speeding and distracted driving. The assembly is during third period in the PAC April 10th. Students can only attend with their third period class. So teachers, that means you guys need to RSVP to Mr. Luna. FNL will also be hosting a rally during lunch that day that will focus on safe driving and educating students about the harmful effects of drugs and alcohol. There will be a dunk tank, among other fun activities. I hope many of you, many of you pledge to be drug and alcohol free and commit this week to a, le a healthy lifestyle. Thank you and have a good day, DP. I heard that the dunk tank will be full of teachers and any students that can knock them in. Thursday at lunch in the Greek, come on in and dunk your favorite teachers for committed week. There are only two Beautify DP events remaining for this semester. The next Beautify DP is taking place this Saturday, April 12th from 9 to noon. Bring a refillable water bottle and come dress to take on different projects around campus. Sign up on the clipboard outside Ms. Stone's office. Remember, two hours of Beautify DP attendance is required each semester for NHS and Beautify DP hours can count towards regular community service also. Seniors, if you're planning on attending SBCC next year, it is time for you to sign up the, for the bus orientation taking place on Friday, April 18th. The bus will leave DP at 12.30 and return at 4.30 p.m. You must ride the bus from CC and back. To attend, you must have already applied to the school and completed your English and math assessments. Please be prepared to show proof of both. See Ms. Irwin in the counseling office to sign up. If you still need to assess, please see the SBCC Assignment Center website or Ms. Irwin for more information. The last day to sign up for the orientation will be from today, a week from today, till Tuesday, April 15th. The City of Santa Barbara is looking for lifeguards. Come to the Career Center to find out how to apply to work as a lifeguard this summer. While you're there, you can find out about community service hours in music technology, internships with the Food Bank, and volunteering at Earth Day, Saturday, April 26th. Testing, testing, testing. Now, although the start tests are almost gone, there's still a few things happening over the next couple of weeks that you need to know about. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. This is Mr. Woodard here. Hello. I'm here with a few updates uh, from your admin team on this week and next week. Uh, this week, as you may have heard, the faculty at DPHS is seriously considering a new bell schedule proposal for the 2014-15 school year. I've put stuff on EDU regarding it, and there's information on the proposal on our website. But this Friday at lunch in H30, there will be a chance for students to come and ask questions of the faculty and the administration about the schedule. If you can't make Friday at lunch, there will be also a parent meeting that afternoon in the library starting at 3 o'clock where you're free to come and ask questions get more information. If you have information or questions about the Bell Schedule proposal, again, see the website or email me, and I will uh, forward your questions to the Bell Schedule Committee so you can get those questions answered for you. Other announcements. Um, regarding EDU, uh, a lot of our students have registered their email address, but many of our freshmen have not yet. So I'd like everybody to go on to EDU this week and make sure that you've registered your email address because more and more we're sending out announcements to our students by grade level over EDU, and it's important that you have your email address uh, registered on EDU. If you need help doing that, see Ms. Renault in the library and she can help you register your email address. Uh, 
coming up next week for our juniors. Our juniors are going to be participating, like the rest of California's 11th graders, in the Smarter Balanced Field Test. And that is the computer adaptive test of the new system that will be in place next year. We're really asking that all juniors who will be testing with their English classes uh, take the test seriously, but relax about it. It's just to field test the questions. The results are not coming back to us or going to colleges. They're just to be able to test out all of the questions and give our students uh, some experience taking these computer adaptive tests. Um, so that's next week for our juniors. The following week uh, will be our freshman class who have also been asked to participate in a field test by the state of California. And they'll again be testing with their English classes. During that week as well, the follow-up to that week, our juniors will be taking the second part of the EAP, uh, and more information will come next week about that. So again, for this week, wrap up Friday at lunch, bell schedule meeting in H30, or after school in the library. Uh, please register your email address on EDU, and have a great day. Thank you. So no more bubble sheets, but here come the computer tests. I'm definitely going to miss those bubble sheets. Clubs today are Art Club, Animal Shelter, Aquatic Mammal Discussions, ASA, Bike Club, Teen Club, FCA, GSA, Girls for Change, Lakes of Love Club, Math Club, Mountain Bike Club, Photography Club, Ukulele Club, and Vitamin Angels. Today, boys volleyball has a big game against rival Santa Barbara at their gym away at 6, so come out to support our boys. Also today, our undefeated tennis team has a game away against Ventura on their courts at 2.30. Good luck, guys. Last week, junior Cameron Cox went to the USA Junior National Wrestling Competition in Cedar Falls, Iowa on April 3rd through 6th. Cox was a top competitor and placed an amazing 8th place. That is out of all the high school wrestlers in the country. Great job, Cameron. Yesterday, boys baseball had a non-league conference game against Miracosa at Westmont. The boys had a tough game and came up just short, losing 3-1. to one. Our boys have another game today against the number one team in the nation, Harvard-Westlake, and get to play on the USC field at 7 o'clock. Good luck, guys. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.